Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Jessica0621, and I am welcome you guys back here to my channel. Today video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is gonna be Unbalking Bodies Work by to get to. I know I'm some days late, but I had a just horrible incident that happened at home and I just needed to mentally like get back on focus with everything. So I decided to bring and post this video for you guys today. So before we get further on into this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. So each time I do a video here on my channel, you guys will be the first ones to know. Okay, you guys, so as you know, Bath and Body Works had their um, buy to get to this past weekend. And also, they were very generous in a way this time where if you are a rewards member and you have the app, they allowed you to do like a survey or just ask your opinion on the rewards app um, itself. And then they gave a 20% off their entire purchase. So this is what I used um, on mine that I bought. And then I brought some soaps and stuff for my sister. I I was going to add that into this video, but I decided just to keep it, you know, to the point, which was on the candles as far as for me. Let's go ahead and get into that. Now, some of these candles are a new scents um, that I just kind of went based off of reviews online. I hadn't been in the store since um, that, like... But what is this February since January so I've been out of the store for a minute so I decided just to pick some scents that were new these are from their tropical uh, like their summer collection and I also got one more because I wanted to see if this candle smelled different based on being packaged by white barn because I kind of noticed that sometimes it seems like when you bath and butter wears in white barn does the same candle the scent may be stronger than the other so I decided to give that a try so, so the first one that I have here to show you is lakeside morning now this is a candle that i believe is kind of considered to be like a fall candle but it can be used all year round because it has such a strong kind of like cologne -y smell it kind of puts you in the mind of like the mahogany teak wood so it's kind of one of those candles that is doesn't necessarily belong in a particular season it's something that can be burned all year round if that's what you're into so it comes um in this packaging here by white barns this is kind of like a teal um you know kind of color packaging i noticed that a couple of these for these stores um like the packaging on the bottom if you could tell it was kind of warped like the the um whatever packaging this is that's around the glass kind of like melted or was smooshed in or something like that three notes on this is chris autumn air white driftwood a hint of green apple with natural essential oils so it is white wax um i have burnt this because i wanted just to smell it and see how it is i didn't burn it that long because i had it in my husband's office where i am now and it filtered the room pretty quickly to the point where i was like oh my god i need to put this out so i have not put this out in like an open space area like in my kitchen um living room area where i usually set my candles so i'll see how it is but I mean, it does have a really good scent to it. Um, you can definitely smell the apple and like a woodsy smell. So it does put you in the mind of like mahogany teak wood where it has like that strong woodsy outdoor like men's cologne kind of smell to it. So it's not bad. It's just that I want to see how it would do in more of a open area besides like in a kind of like small office. But based off of fragrance, would I purchase it again? Yes, but if the throw is better in an open concept, I would purchase it again, maybe more than one, but if not, then it may be an exchange for something else. So that is Lakeside Morning. Another one that I based, I got based off of reviews, and this is the Sweet Red Mango, if you can see that. And I definitely love the tropical look of the ombre of the packaging. It is one of those um, clear jars, whereas it burns, you can't see through it. So I really didn't get a, like a full hour's burn because um, I had it in the bathroom with me because I was taking a bath. I needed a, a good hot bath, so I burnt that in here. And it smells really good. It is one of those really good tropical candles. I got it because everyone was saying that it's such a good thrower. It does smell really really good and everything so it is the sweet red mango it's ripe mango sunny peach pineapple juice with natural essential oils i can definitely tell you that you can definitely smell the peaches it is a white wax with the thin wicks um 
you definitely smell the peaches and the pineapple and the mangoes so you definitely get like that citrusy smell like combination of like a, a drink or a really fruity punch um that could have alcohol in it so it is a really like drink candle and i definitely like how they made the top of the jar kind of like that bamboo-y kind of um look to it so i really do like this one um i'm gonna definitely burn and you know, keep this another day kind of burn it again and see so we'll see how that goes with this one but this was a, a really good one a lot of people said this is a really good um thrower so we'll see the one that everybody was talking about and that is champagne margarita now the the color of the jar i absolutely love it's really really pretty i definitely love that this is um, by white barn this is the sweet the fragrant notes is freshly squeezed lime bubbly champagne sugarcane crystal with natural essential oils and this is how it looks everybody every time i look on instagram tiktok bath and body works everybody is raving about this candle um a lot of people are saying that this is compared to the um muscal mule i think was a candle that you guys had like years ago i'm fairly new to bath and body works and especially like the candle line so i have not seen that when earth smelled it but a lot of people said this is really similar but um i have seen a few people that i follow on instagram that compared the fragrance notes to this to the muscal mule and i think the only difference is is that it's missing maybe by like one scent note is the difference but other than that i think that they're pretty much are the same but the um the scent notes again are freshly squeezed lime bubbly champagne sugarcane crystals with natural essential oils is white wax of course i had it on my um warmer so that's why the wicks are like all over the place now i will say this about it when i had it on my kitchen counter uh where i always sit my count uh my candles I could not smell it within that area. I had to like really walk up on it. But as I let it burn um, for the four hours, I could smell it like in my bedroom, in my hallway, you know, towards the front of my house. So it does have a good throw, I guess. I don't know if that was just me or what, but I could not smell it in that particular area that it was. So I could only smell it off of other areas of my house. And it does smell really good. The lime. To me, this I put this in a category. If there was a category for like candles that are good to burn when you're cleaning up your house, like when you're doing like one of those deep, serious cleans, and I feel like this is a good candle for that. And it does smell really good. The lime with the champagne is not too much. It's not too overpowering. This is not something that I would stock up on. And I have seen people on Instagram where they have like 20 of these things. And it's like, I don't believe it's that serious. It is a good smelling candle. I feel like I would need to burn it a little bit more. And then, okay, maybe. But right now, no, I don't think so. so my next one is hibiscus waterfall now when i was going um online trying to find like the strongest summer and spring candles by white barn and bath and bio works this name kept popping up so i was like okay well i'll give it a try i really love the packaging that they're doing for these for for the summer and everything because it really does give you that really nice pretty tropical vibe to it and it is like that ombre color uh, as well. And the, you know, the palm flowers and the palm leaves and everything, they look so nice. So this is a really good design. And the top of it is just like the other one where it's like that bamboo color, this silver, white wax again. But the wicks are a little thicker. Um, now, with this one, when I went to pick it up because I did a store pickup, I could smell this all in my car. The whole bag smelled just like this candle. I smelled it in the store while I was waiting on them to bring the bag to me. And it does have a really nice smell to it. It really does. Um, it's really super loud on, on cold. I notice sometimes if a candle from Bath & Body Works, if it is loud on cold, it's not going to be that loud once it's lit. Or where on cold, it does smell really good, but lit it's really light because i have this in my in my bedroom and i can smell it within my bedroom but even still it was really light i would get this maybe like a seven and a half or eight 
um but other than that i don't know and this is one another one again just like the lakeside morning and champagne margarita it's one of those where i feel like i need to burn it in an open area a little bit more before i take it back but i think i'm kind of just really done with this one but i mean it does smell good i mean i will give it that it does smell really good i don't know if if it's something with the candle or whatever but for me i think it's pretty much going back this is the white barn uh, version of bubbly rose it's in this really pretty soft pink like clear jar um the scent notes for it if you don't already know is pink sparkling rose sweet blood orange a splash of cranberry juice with natural essential oils and it does have it still has that that fragrance notes um as the other ones it still smell like what it's supposed to smell like um i lit it yesterday for the first time i lit it for maybe like two hours because i was working and so i had to put it out but i could smell it um within that area of my kitchen in my living room i could smell it um a little bit coming towards the front end of my house but it was really light but I, I will say it does still smell like what it's supposed to smell like, but it's not super strong as the other. So I just wanted to see if that was the case. Uh, would I still buy these again? Yes, I will definitely buy them again. I believe to me, in my mind, I think it's based off of location, um, how long they've been on the shelf, um, if they came off of the product line at the same time whatever so to me i think that has something to do with it. and i watched a few people on, on youtube that are avid buyers of candles from bath and body works and just bath and body works in general but says that too is that these little numbers right here are kind of like date codes they're kind of like codes of how long they've been on the shelf and everything so and i think bath and body works has that on on their website as well it tells you how long it's been sitting on on the shelf when was it made and everything so i think that has a lot to do with that because if you watch my videos before where i talked about that when i had the pumpkin pecan waffle i kind of noticed that too that certain locations they get different ones so or they get ones that come off the line at different times so I kind of feel like that that is true but yeah this is it still smells the same it does have a really good note it's not light it's just the throat isn't a 10 out of 10. i would say this is about a eight eight and a half um as far as throw but it's not a 10 out of 10 so if i feel like i wanted it to be that 10 out of 10 which i know i'm not gonna get that every time but it would be nice but yeah i definitely love um the bubbly rose i would definitely buy again um I, i'm going to get the the uh single wit and the wallflower refills as well so this is something i feel like is is it's, it's, it's going to be a hit and miss it's the same thing with any other accounts that they they get sometimes they'll be stronger sometimes they'll be super light i want to thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button so each time i do a new video here on my channel you guys will be the first ones to know so bye